One of them is heel raises. So hold on to the wall or something if you need help with balance. You're gonna push up onto your toes, hold for three counts. No, that's not true. Push up on one and then lower on two, three, four, those counts. One minute, probably just one set, we'll see. Okay, hold something if you need to. Toes pointed forward, here we go, press up. And then lower down for two, three, four, press up. So controlling that descent, real big flex push-ups. Get those heels up as high as you can. <laughs> Trying to do light touch on the wall. I was like clutching the wall for dear life. <laughs> One of my least favorite exercises right here. I have tight calves and these always burn, burn, burn. You're past halfway. If you don't touch the wall much or a light touch, it will be some balance, which is nice. 12 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Now you're gonna do the opposite. You can sit, if this is hard for you, you can sit on a chair and do it, or you can lean against a wall. So lean back just a little bit. You're gonna lift your toes on one and then lower down two, three, four. So you're gonna work the muscles on the front of your shin. Um, if a range of motion is hard, sitting down, you can usually lift those toes a little bit easier because you're not having to lift your body weight at all. All right, ready, set. Here we go. Lift toes up, lower for two, three, four. I find these very hard <laughs> to isolate those muscles. I had to go shoeless because the sneakers had too big of a heel. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let me chuck mine off real quick. Oh, you're right. Bigger range of motion if everyone wants to slip their shoes off real fast. <laughs> Yeah, because I was like, am I lifting my toes? Like they felt yeah, like they weren't really going up. Like, I was just pressing my toes into the fabric of the sneaker. <laughs> I'm like lifting, they're not actually going anywhere. This can be good if you've ever had shin splints, kind of working those shin muscles that get a little bit ignored. They're secondary in everything. Basically, if I, if I ever try to run at all, even like two steps, I feel shin splints. <laughs> Yeah, they're miserable too. I had them in high school track. Rest. Okay, two things for shoulders. We've done these before. First one is external rotation where you're here. 30 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Even though you're working the shoulders, upper arm stays where it is. You hinge through the shoulder joint there. Elbows stay 90 degrees. I want you to Stand tall, hug the abs in so that you don't arch your back. When you get those hands back there, you should feel the shoulder blade area. Now, if you're doing this recording, it'd be great to do all of these twice, but I can see that we're not gonna have time for that. So we're doing it once today, or these are really good ones to add in day to day. They're so easy to add in. If you're just gonna do a five minute quick thing and some stretching, do these accessory exercises. All right, palms face forward. Fold your hands one over the other on your back, slide it up. Here we go. Palms face forward, stack the hands, slide it up. And you're again, you're trying to slide your hands up as high as you can without leaning forward or moving your neck or anything like that. Alternate which hand is touching your back and which hand is not. Okay, but why is it when I have five minutes and I jump up from my desk, I literally can't remember anything? <laughs> Well, I started and I've been terrible about separating out like the accessory ab parts of the workouts to make real short, quickie videos. Um, I think I've only done that once or twice. Rest. Like um, the only thing I know how to do is open a bag of chips. <laughs> They're so good though. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious that that's on the video. Um, <laughs> That'll be a fun surprise for someone who randomly chooses this workout someday. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, abs, back, and glutes. The only piece of equipment that you need is, I'm using a, a loop, but you could use a yoga strap, you could pull a towel, you could pull a stretch band. All you're going to do is be, is be holding it in your hands like this, so anything could work, a t-shirt, okay? So grab something. We're gonna use it for exercise one. Let me get my timer set the right way. 50 seconds, five zero for the first two exercises. The first one is called dead bug. Let me show you what it looks like. You will have legs lifted, knees at tabletop, this is called, and then you'll pull on that towel or ribbon or whatever you have between your hands. That, now you feel your um, arm muscles pushing your lower back into the floor, leave it there. One leg extends along both arms trying to go as low as you can without letting your rib cage arch up away from the floor. Alternate legs. So both arms because they're holding that ribbon together and alternating legs. Okay, get into position. One leg at a time comes up, push your lower back against the floor, pulling your abs in. Three, two, one, here we go. Drop both arms, one leg, exhale back to center. Pin your lower back to the floor. Only go as low as you can. When you start to feel it peel away, stop there, pull it back. So going right to the edge of what you can do. Now, I like to inhale, reaching long, extending, and then I exhale, close. But I feel like you can make an argument for either way. So breathe out during like the point, whatever the point is that feels hardest. Adjust because when you're not paying attention, your lower back comes up away from the floor. Now, pull on the ends of that towel or whatever you're holding. You can feel your arms just a little bit more. Nice and easy, come out of that. Set the ribbon aside, and we're going to do, I think, yes, cross crunch. Okay, so regular old crunches that we all remember but you're gonna bring elbow to opposite knee. 50 seconds, same thing. You're going to close, crisscross here, bring knee and elbow toward each other. And I want you to think less about touching, more about reaching past so that you really get that twist. Alternate sides. Three, two, one, here we go. Exhale, cross, open all the way back up. Other side. Emphasis on the twist, that's the important part. And also let your head sit in your hands. I don't want you to pull too hard with the arms, but I want you to support the head so you don't feel it in the neck. And now think about your ab oblique muscles doing the work here. It does seem to help the mind muscle connection if you focus on the right muscles. Exhale as you come up, inhale, open and back down. If 50 seconds, rest, there's your beat. If 50 seconds is too long, do as much as you can. If it's too short, keep going. All right, you're gonna do single leg bridge. Whatever leg is your weaker leg, the strong leg crosses up top like this, ankle on knee. So you're gonna push with the weak leg first, pushing into the heel. Bring that heel a little bit close to your hip so that you're feeling glutes more than hamstring. We're gonna push up and down for 10. Pulse at the top for 10, and then hold at the top for 10. I will count these out. Ready, set, here we go. Press up, squeeze, lower down with control. That's one, up and down. That's two, here's three. Push in the heel, four, feel the glute flexing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, up and pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now hold at the top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, set it down, yes, <laughs> glutes on fire, now when you put the other leg on top, hug those legs to you, stretch out that side, you just worked real quick, be feeling that. Set 
that leg back down, other side, 10 reps, all the way up, all the way down, here we go, push it up, pause, set down, one, up, pause, and down, that's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now press up and pulse, up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set down. We're going to stretch that one out, so cross that ankle over the opposite knee, pull it in. I don't usually stretch in between, but sometimes <laughs> this one's intense and you, want, you don't want to cramp. Okay, roll over onto your stomach. You're going to do a back extension. You'll be on your stomach. You're going to lift up and you're going to have your fingertips reaching for your ankle. So it looks like this. So I'll give you some cues once we get there. The temptation is to bend the knees, but I want you to keep the knees mostly straight. 30 seconds on this one. All right, inhale to get ready. Exhale, lift. Reach the fingertips back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Flex the glutes. Don't hold your breath. Neck is long. I don't want you looking straight down and I don't want you looking straight forward unless you can lift your torso really high. I want your neck to naturally come out of your spine, whichever direction that looks, okay? Woo, hard, hard, hard. Five, four, lift up. Three, two, and one, rest. Sometimes I say lift up there because we start to sink towards the floor. All right, push yourself up, sit back in a child's pose, rest here for a bit. Take a few deep breaths. 